Keep giving me a knee line, man. Go, go, go. That's it. That's good. Felix Bosch is about to rank ball. Go, go, go. Felix Bosch. Nice! All right, guys, I just want to quickly talk about when you should tap to a heel hook, which is a pretty tough question to answer. Uh, and we're just going to go through uh, my wife, Livia, actually just won the ADCC trials and um, in, in uh, Europe. And we've got a really good example of how dangerous heel hooks can be. I think most people tap way too late. And this one's one of those ones which is really tough to, like you've got to be so quick to recognize that you're caught before the injury occurs, as you'll see uh, in a moment. Okay, so uh, let's just quickly, I'll let you have a watch of the clip and then we'll go through uh, the actual sequence. And I'll see, you'll see the amount of time that actually her opponent has to tap. Now I should say this is an elite level competition. Um, this is the ADCC trials. Literally, we've been preparing for this every, pretty much all the work you put in throughout the whole year. Uh, everything you've been doing, like the hours of, you know, training and preparation and injuries and so on lead to to a moment like this so you know for someone like Liv who uh, when she sees a chance to get a finish like that um, she's going to put everything she has into it so it's up to the opponent to tap there and that's where I think there's a big difference between training and competition in training a lot of people like of course she's going to catch that and she's going to put it on very slowly but in competition it happens in a fraction of a second and the injuries can be pretty severe. And I'd say most heel hooks that I've ever done in competition have caused some sort of injury to my opponent. Uh, some of them quite severe, some of them tapped just on time and it was just a tiny little pop, but most people tap way too late because they don't understand when they're caught. Okay, so if you don't know much about leg locks, then make sure you're tapping early. If you're very experienced, I'm talking very experienced, which I don't think many people actually are. If you're very experienced, then I think it's okay. All right, so let's have a look. So here we are. Liv's just started to dig the heel. So actually, if we go back, her opponent tried to dig Liv's heel, uh, which was actually a fantastic bait by Liv. She's already got her defense in place, but it's distracted her opponent, which gives Liv a chance now to start digging her own the heel. Okay, so right now, She's holding the knee to prevent the knee from slipping, and she's starting to catch her left hand. Okay, she now has the heel caught, and she's already bringing her second hand in to start to connect it. Okay, so let's say her hands are almost connected now. To me, basically from here, like the, the time to tap in this scenario is as soon as you recognize you can't slip your heel. Uh, and I don't think... Many people are very skilled at understanding that. You do not have, in this particular scenario, you do not have much time to, to tap, as we'll see. Okay, so pretty much here, Liv has connected her hands. And if I was the opponent, I'd be immediately testing to see if my heel could slip. That would actually happen in an absolute fraction of a second. And as soon as I realize it can't, I know that an injury is coming. So you've got to be starting to tap. Okay, so let's look. We're at 8 minutes and 10 seconds. Sorry, eight seconds. Sorry, eight seconds and ten um, milliseconds into the match. And let's just see. Okay, so now it looks like Liv's connected her hands properly. Probably about now, about eight seconds and sixteen milliseconds. All right. Now you'll actually that you can hear a pop, an audible pop, where and it takes a little bit for sound to actually travel to where the camera is as well. Um, but you can actually see that on this. That'll happen in a moment. But let's just look. So from here. That's already already happened. The injury's already occurred, and it's now at nine seconds and seventeen milliseconds. So that's in less than one second, the injury has occurred. Have a look at this little you can see just here this little blip uh, sound uh, bar. That is exactly where the uh, the sound from the pop travelled to the camera. So it probably happened even more than that. Okay, uh, even faster than that. So let's say you've got one second from when the hands are connected to actually tap, then that's, you know, how long does it take for your hand to reach, to first of all, to process that information? So, okay, the, the hands are connected, you have to recognize that. Maybe that takes a few milliseconds. Then your hands have to reach down, tap your opponent multiple times. Usually if you tap once, they 
it's not even thought of as a tap. It's like as in you, like if, you're, if, you're, if I was applying a heel hook and I felt one tap on my leg, they could just be trying to push my leg. Like it has to be like, you have to recognize as the person applying the heel hook, that the person is actually tapping. So you need to feel multiple taps. How many, like how long is it going to take for them to process the information they're caught, tap your leg, and then for you to recognize that you need to let go. And I think it, with this, like it's a very fine line between when you recognize that you're actually caught and when you're going to be injured. I'd say it's pretty much, even if her opponent tapped just at the right, like as soon as she recognized she was caught, I think she was a bit late on this one, but as soon as she recognized she could, couldn't could slip the heel, if she had a tapped then, she still would have been injured, perhaps just not quite as severely. But um, yeah, so it's a, it's a really tough one. Heel hooks like this, they're, they're really dangerous and that's why a lot of competitions don't allow them. So in less than one second, uh, you've recognized... In less than one second from her hands connecting, there's already an injury, possibly a significant injury. Don't forget, this is your knees. It could be your MCL, your ACL. These injuries can potentially cause lifelong problems, including osteoarthritis, knee replacements, and so on. There's a good potential for that. So, like, uh, there's potentially serious injuries that can occur. Make sure you're tapping early. So, in a competition like this, you have, to, if you don't know leg locks, you need to, she pro, if you're not good at leg locks, you want to tap and, like, as soon as that now, yeah, that, that that heel is already dug. Live, basically, it's next to impossible to slip out of this now. That's that's over. You need to be good enough at heel hooks to recognize that. If you don't know heel hooks and you don't know the positions, then you should not be playing this game. You should have already, like, I don't know if you should be entering ADCC competition, to be honest. Not saying this, uh, her opponent didn't, wasn't aware of that. Just like the, just the amount of time you got is is very short. All right, so there you are. You can see the damage is, is done. And, and that's the win. So congratulations to Liv. I hope that helps. And guys in competition, make sure you're tapping.